Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, it's time for 2021 to, to kind be of be a wrap. Yeah. So today we're counting down our top five moments of 2021. So let's get started. Come get lost with us. So to start our top five of 2021, what's your first pick? So my first pick is our move. It was pretty epic, I have to say. Um, we're no stranger to cross country moving, but That's this sure. was um, definitely uncharted territory for us. Yeah, we moved all the way across the country from New York to Arizona. Nevada. I keep saying Arizona. He really wants to move to Arizona, guys. I think that's what it is. Maybe I think, that's it. I think deep down, Gary just has a calling that he just wants to be in Arizona, which, no lie, Arizona is just as gorgeous as Nevada. So what was your favorite moment of that move? Uh, I really liked when we were driving through the Rockies and the Colorado, like literally when there was just like boulders on like both sides of us. And like, yep. it was just like, you all you look, looked up and it was just towering and that was just something I had never seen before and I was very like awestruck I guess you could say of the beauty of it did you did you uh, have moving up on your top list or uh, I think it was up there I mean the the view of Vegas when you come around the corner for the first time was something I did not expect and was absolutely amazing. So that was super cool. But I don't, I don't think moving was on my top five. My, one of my top fives was Cooperstown. So that mm -hmm. was definitely earlier this year. Uh, I think like February, January of this year, we went yeah. to uh, Cooperstown, New York, and we actually got to go to the Cooperstown Hall of Fame. That was just awesome. Uh, it's been a dream of mine since I was little and being able to see like all the, the great Braves of the 90s there, as well as Hank Aaron uh, and his whole display because he had just passed away. I thought it was amazing. Plus like the interactivity of that museum. If you've never been to Cooperstown and you're anywhere close to that central New York area, it is 100% worth it to check out Cooperstown. Yeah, Cooperstown was a lot of fun, I have to say. It was a bit of a muddy day, but even yes. I, who uh, don't, I, I don't know a lot about baseball. It's not that I don't like baseball. I just don't know a lot about it. I learned a lot that day and definitely had a lot of fun. So what's your second video of 2021? Uh, the second video that I really loved uh, was our wedding day. Oh, how happy. How sweet. Um, no, I thought it was, uh, it was definitely something that we just kind of, once we rolled into Vegas, we were, we were like, let's just do it this year. Let's see if we can make it happen. And we decided to do something small, which to me was small, which to him was still kind of big. But um, I think we pulled it off. I think it was really, I think it was a lot of fun. I, I had fun. I hope you had fun. Yeah, I thought it was cool getting married by the Elvis. Uh, the Elvis impersonator was amazing. My only wish, again, I think I said it on the video too, is that we get to spend a little bit more time getting to know him before the ceremony. Um, but otherwise, Graceland Chapels was amazing. Yeah. Uh, the whole experience was really well put on and easy uh, on our side to at least go through, other than dealing with, you know, arrangements for a family who are coming in town and stuff. That can always be a <laughs> headache. But, like, the actual wedding and ceremony itself was really easy uh, and really sort of uh, simple. So definitely recommend Graceland Chapel. That was one of my higher moments of this year, I think. Yeah, so what was what was your number two highest so, video moment? Of so my number two, I think, was sort of uh, something different completely for us was our one-day adventure mm -hmm. uh, that just aired during Vlogmas. So it was our sort of first attempt at it. Um, and I would say the editing on the video could be a little better. I think we need to focus more on our mission for the video, but the experience itself was amazing. Um, having the courage to literally fly to a city for 24 hours and just do things uh, like see sites or go to restaurants or just take in the city itself, I think was a huge sort of risk for me. And that's not really what I've been used to, uh, especially from my traveling experience. And I loved it because it was just kind of outside of my comfort zone, really fun to do and really amazing overall. Yeah, it was, it definitely pushed us a lot. I think we, we learned a lot. We yeah. learned that you can do a lot in 24 hours, um, which I think was probably the most surprising thing for me. And it definitely makes you more comfortable traveling too. Like I used to get anxiety before traveling. Like, am I going to miss something? Am I packing? Am I going to do this or that? And honestly, since that and the traveling that we've been doing, uh, 
it's just not even an anxiety anymore. I know to pack my underwear and my socks and beyond <laughs> that, like you can replace anything else. So. That's true. So definitely a more comfort thing. And then there's one we wanted to share that was sort of a group one for both of us as yeah. the number three. Our number three video together is Disneyland. Oh yes. We Dis got to go see Disneyland. But to be fair, it was Disney California Adventure. I know. So it's not the full shebang, but there, I, if you guys have seen our awkward chats video or some of our other videos that we put out earlier this year, we discussed kind of why we've been on the fence about Disney in general um, and really giving our money to something that we feel has definitely taken a turn in the wrong direction, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Disney, yes. Disneyland, specifically DCA. And honestly, that was our first time at DCA. We did a day in the park, essentially, because we got in early, and we got to do a Halloween party. And it was awesome. It was awesome being able to see, like, the Monster Inc. ride, which, you know, the animatronics could use a little bit of an upgrade, but you'll see it during our Vlogmas. We actually posted the whole ride. It was awesome just to see it for the first time. Huge Monster Inc. fan. Really cool uh, ride. Really exhausted at the time, though. You'll see that in the video, <laughs> yeah, too. Yeah, we were but, so tired. But it was awesome. Uh, the Incredicoaster. Oh, my oh, gosh. Man. Like, to be just a simple coaster, but the, the Incredibles overlay on it just works so well. Yeah, it did um, such a great, they did such a yeah. great job with it, honestly. And I was, I don't know if I was just tired or scared or a little of the two, but, like, leading up to the ride, I was just my normal, nervous Nelly self. But once we got on it and we were going, I was like, oh, my God, that was amazing. Yeah. Like, I want to do that again. And Pixar Racers. Um, wow. Um, that, that's probably one of my favorite rides in Disney right now it would be Pixar Racers. I love it. I love the Cars movies. I loved Radiator Springs. Radiator, Sp Radiator Racers, I think is what it's called, but still. It's the Cars ride. Yeah, the Cars uh, ride. But anyways. That was cool. So, yeah, yeah, Radiator Springs was also awesome. With the Halloween overlay, it was even cooler. Agreed. Agreed. So, so Disneyland was definitely a... Must do to us. We're both a little sad that we didn't make it to the Haunted Mansion to see it for the holiday overlay. But hopefully next year, hopefully, uh, assuming that uh, JPEG allows it to go next year um, and doesn't cut that in one of its budget cuts, uh, hopefully we'll get to see it. Yeah, we are hoping to make a few more Disney trips next year. As, That's uh, next year, and as we'll talk deep, about and we'll talk about that. Yeah, we'll talk about that in our. We'll have a New Year's video too, where we'll yeah. talk about sort of where the channel's going. So we don't want to get too much into that, but uh, keep an eye out for that. So you want to make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell, so when that video comes out on the first, you can get updated on what we're doing. But yeah, but this is gonna do it for 2021. Yeah. And uh, it's it was a good year, I have to say. We got out of New York State. We got into a state that is uh, very sunny. The sun comes out almost every day. Yeah. And uh, it only gets a little bit cold. Well, it gets a lot cold, but it's it's totally, totally doable, and I love it. And any of those people out there that are struggling, like, because, you know, it's not the greatest out there right now. Um, for us, this is not where we expected ourselves to be at the end of this year. Mm -mm. This is honestly... Uh, wasn't even in my mind in 2020 to be mm -hmm. in Las Vegas or to do this. So um, just keep going, keep your head up, and uh, hopefully it'll get better for you too. Yeah, just uh, keep keep waking up every day because you never know what tomorrow's going to bring. Yeah, let us know in the comments below. Is there anything you're looking forward to to next year for 2022 or anything that you're sort of excited for we'd love to hear yeah. from y'all uh, about or what maybe you did something crazy in 2021 yeah. and you're super proud of it we'd love to hear that too so yeah. let us let us know yeah let us know in the comments if you're a vlogger let, let us know a video to watch of yours we'll definitely check it out for sure and uh, i guess that's gonna wrap it up for this year yeah. and again make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you keep updated ring that notification bell yeah and we'll see you on the next one we'll see you guys in 2022 bye everybody bye